my specialization is predominantly in, in mobile pastoral societies, and um, at least in their house, where, where they lived, they were pretty clean. <laughs> they didn't leave a lot of their um, nicest objects behind. Early archaeology sought to analyze primarily burials because they, had to, they could get their hands on the most illustrious stuff. So, you know, beautiful golden cups and glasses and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, costumes and all, you, you name it, and, uh, uh, jewelry and, and other embellishments were all primarily placed in burial contexts. The work that I'm doing is, in a sense, kind of the flip side of that, which is to look at, okay, if this is how they were burying their individuals and this is where their wealth was being located, how were they living? What were they eating? You know, the, the basic prosaic aspects of their lives, which, in a sense, doesn't lead to beautiful temples and, 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 uh, and, and you know, uh, uh, elaborate, elaborate finds. But when you contextualize that way of life with the burial evidence that we have, then you can get a much richer picture. And that archaeology is distributed at a really wide scale. So, you know, a settlement may be, you know, like I said, 40 or 30 or 40 feet on either side. So, you know, the size of a large office, basically. Um, but across maybe 10 kilometers, there's 50 of those. And so, you know, is that a village? Is, no, it's not a village. It's a low level density of populations who are creating a much more distributed social network of population. Really the strategy at some level has to be how to put sort of um, patrons of these sites into place who are both locally invested and who can partner with international specialists and local specialists. So it really takes a kind of a, a community of, of individuals to, to address these kinds of sites. And there's more of them than, than you know, someone like myself can handle. So you know, we need, we need, we need, we need a, um, a, a international kind of uh, approach to this that, that can ultimately try to at least buffer some of the, the, the destruction that's occurring just every day.